Well, you all know what I think about the TV license by now, but what's the BBC got to say about it? Hi, it's me again, and I found a BBC News article all about the TV license, and are they going to try and sell us one or tell us we don't need one? I think I can take a guess. I think I can take a guess. But they're going to try and persuade us that it's good value and what they spend it on, which is the interesting point for this article. I think we could have a look at to see what they actually spend the 13 quid a month of your TV license fees on. So let's have a look, shall we? Now, what is the license fee used for? Money raised from the license fee pays for BBC shows and services, including TV, radio, the BBC website, podcasts, because they're terribly useful. Everyone listens to BBC podcasts, you see. iPlayer and apps. Almost 3.7 billion was raised by the license fee in 2019, accounting for about 76% of the BBC's total income of 4.9 billion pounds. So it's those numbers there that make me laugh, right? Do they not make you laugh? They get 3.7 billion, with a B, from TV license fees, and the total income raised by the BBC is 4.9 billion quid. And they can't make that work. They can't make that work. They're 300 million black hole this year in their finances. They've got to try and find. How are they not making that work? To put it into context, right, their total income is 4.9 billion billion quid. So here's some GDP figures, right? So uh, Montenegro has a GDP of 4.8 billion. Barbados, 4.6 billion. Suriname, 3 billion. Bhutan, 2.5 billion. Belize, 1.86 billion. Gambia, 1.49 billion. So Gambia, think about Gambia, right? They've got hospitals, they've got schools, things they have to pay for, and they're doing it all on 1.49 billion. The BBC cannot run a media organisation, can't run TV channels, radios, and their expensive podcasts for a lot more money. That's way more than double the GDP of Gambia. The BBC cannot survive on. They've got a black hole in their finances. What is going on? on. What is going on? It's absolutely ridiculous. How many staff actually work there? I think it was 20,000 staff, wasn't it, last time I checked? Let's have a look. Wikipedia figures, take them for what you will, are 22,219 employees at the BBC. Offices all around the world, loads of wasteful investments, loads of wasteful stuff. They cannot make that money stretch. That just makes you laugh. It makes you laugh that they can't run a media organisation on more than twice the GDP of a Central African nation. Anyway, how do they spend this money? Let's have a look, they've got a breakdown on it. So out of your £13.13 .13 a month license fee, £6.42 of it is spent on television. £2.29 on radio, £1.32 on online, £1.28 on the World Service, which will be changing soon, that'll be going down because they're doing some stuff with the World Service, aren't they? Other services and production costs, £1.10. Licence fee collection, 72 pence. You know, I know I've said it before, but the fault for all of this lies at the top. The man at the top, Tim Davey, and his board of helpers and directors and stuff, they are in charge at the top of the company, and they're struggling to run it on that amount of money when countries, many countries, have a look at the GDP. I'll put the link thing down. There are a lot of countries whose GDP is smaller than the BBC's annual income. It comes from the top, and they obviously aren't capable of getting the job done. Maybe we need someone new at the top who's able, you know, to, to axe a few more people and to axe a few more services, to get them under budget. Because that is, it is ridiculous, isn't it? So let's have a look, because it says here, uh, where is it? What could replace the licence fee? So let's see what the BBC think could replace their their license fee. A tax on broadband connections of around 138 quid a year, which would be paid for by consumers or internet service providers. A government grant. In Sweden, Croatia and Finland, public service broadcasters are paid for by a tax on income. I think that is the one they want most of all. That's the one they want most of all, because there's no way of avoiding that. And it's also not paid by household, is it? It's paid per person. More money. Advertising. The UK is one of only a handful of countries where licence fee are also not supported by advertising. That is a thing, and I'm surprised they haven't caught on to that. There are many countries out there that have some kind of licence fee to fund the public service broadcaster for the country. But that public service broadcaster also gets to show ads as well, having your cake and eating it. Right? 
I'm surprised the BBC haven't cottoned onto that yet. It'd be a matter of time, I think. And then a subscription service. It's been suggested that the BBC follow the example of Netflix and change to a subscription service. Yeah, I think they will. I think that's the future of all television channels. But we're not there yet. In the meantime, they've got to do something if the license fee goes. It's got to be advertising. All right? ITV is nowhere near the size of what the BBC is. And they bring in, or well, they turn over about 1.4 billion last time I checked. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And the BBC should be able to make more on advertising than ITV do because of all the radio stations, all their brilliant, frankly brilliant podcasts, and the multiple TV channels. They should be able to do it and maybe charge a subscription for using iPlayer as well. But yeah, the, the numbers astound me. I've never failed to be astounded by how much money the BBC gets and fails to hit budget targets. It always goes over. There's always a black hole every year because they want more of your money. Madness. But to be fair to them in this article, I'll put a link below. I always put a link below to these articles. It does say, can I legally avoid paying the license fee? A license fee is not needed to view BBC programmes on other streaming services like Netflix. It's also fine to watch non-BBC programmes and online catch-up services without a TV licence. So, yeah, they are giving the information, and not all the information, but you can't blame them. Well, you can blame them, but, you know, you wouldn't expect them to do that, would you? But it's interesting. It's interesting the breakdown that the BBC give on what the licence fee spent on, and it's interesting seeing that the BBC is in £4.9 billion and can't make it work. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon, why not? Ta-da.